Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. What's going on, Central New York? So yeah, tomorrow morning, gonna be cold. We started out near 60 and then the pendulum swung the other way as the colder air is coming in and back in town with a wind out of the north now driving in that colder air. We still have a few flurries out there now, 35. That number gonna keep on keeping on. So by tomorrow morning, we're probably down into the mid 20s. And it's not quite as windy tomorrow, so the wind speeds will slowly ease as we go through the overnight hours. Colder Wednesday, I mean, it is going to fight, scratch, and claw its way to 40. Most of the day is gonna be in the 30s as the clouds increase. Now there should be, should it at least be some sunshine tomorrow. It's not completely wiped out with clouds, but we will notice the sky become overcast by the finish of the day. And then we get into tomorrow night, like after sunset, uh, we've got some messy weather. And we kind of got to wrap our brains around that a little bit because it's some rain, some freezing rain, some sleet, some wet snow. We haven't had to deal with that in a while. I think most of the road surfaces will be okay, but some of the higher elevations could get a little slushy and a little slick. All right, so here's a look at uh, Doppler radar right now. And you can see that there are still a few sprinkles and flurries out there. We go in a little bit closer. You can see it's mainly well south uh, to the south and west into uh, Madison County, and then also a few flurries floating through uh, Seagull Lake, Glimmerglass State Park, Cooperstown to Roseboom, Decatur, and Cherry Valley. Uh, some light snow showers and flurries. That's about it. We'll watch the sky clear out a little bit later tonight, and then off to the north and west, our next weather maker in the form of a warm front, which is going to come zipping through here tomorrow. Warm air associated with warm fronts. Air has density, so the colder air is heavy, so it has to sink to the lowest part of the planet while the warm air goes up and over that, right? So whenever you have that signature in the atmosphere, that means ice. And I think we might have a little of that tomorrow. So right there, as that warm front comes in, notice this pink shade. That's uh, a little bit of icy mix, some wet snow coming through while you're sleeping. So most of this occurs overnight, maybe a little bit into Thursday morning before going to just regular rain showers as that warm front goes on through. And then it'll turn a little milder as we go through the day on Thursday. Far from mild tomorrow, temperatures mired in the 30s to near 40. Uh, clouds will increase, temperatures in the upper 30s to near 40 in Oneonta. And across the North Country, I think you're stuck in the 30s most of the day. So get ready for a cold day. And a cold night as the temperature drops all night long, Lionel Richie, uh, the wind eases, uh, any sprinkles or flurries should taper. Tomorrow, mostly dry through the day. We get into the evening and after sunset, that's when the clouds increase and some rain and wet snow and icy weather uh, into Thursday morning. Then it changes over to rain showers, breezy, turning briefly milder, 48 degrees, I wouldn't be surprised if that takes like all day long to get there. Uh, and then we get into Friday and Saturday, nothing more than a spotty rain or snow shower off Lake Ontario, not a lot of organization. It's cool, but nice, very quiet weather as we go into next week. Shh, don't wake mother nature. Let her be, let's keep it as it is, right? For now. <laughs> Oh boy, that's ominous. Greg, thank you. <laughs> Next, after this break, will incumbent Jackie Izzo keep her seat as mayor of Rome? We take a look at that race and more when we come back.